Welcome back to another review, and this is Dawn, the Dawn character. Who is Dawn? Go on to the Look Rick site, this is Dawn. And link in the description for the Selena review and the Brooke review, they're all there. You can buy these as a bundle. There is a sale. If you go back to the main site, you'll see 20% off. You'll see all kinds of goodies like artwork when this cycles through. And I highly recommend that you go on here and check out the showcase. Also, link in the description, I will show it there. It's absolutely mind boggling how awesome those assets are and how production ready they look is absolutely bananas disclaimer i received these for free for review purposes so i'm gonna gush and say they're absolutely fantastic but it is true they are i'm not saying these because i got them for free they are definitely pricier than your normal rigs that you can find online but holy moly is the quality also bananasly different they're so good so this is what you get when you open it up this is the cute little rig very cute character this whole family is very reminiscent of the incredibles and as i said before that is not a bad thing now if i turn this off this is more somewhat of an accurate color it's a bit washed out but what you can do is when you get those rigs you have a folder and in that folder you have the texture path so i just did the brook review i'm going to change this to dawn and i say yes set texture path put this aside you're going to go well nothing happened absolutely you click here the visibility controller thing here and you have normal so you have proxy proxy the face stuff goes away and you can see how the rig is broken up into a proxy geometry setup there and i can go to texture so texture you go like hmm, this is black well you turn on textures here bam and if you do this it's very very dark so here color management on will help you and now you can see the detail in the skin you can see the detail here in the suit and when you see stuff like that just because the geometry is not set to full high res that's for you to change so you can have all kinds of tweaks to make this faster or not so if i select this here right again we have proxy normal texture and render options display type reference i can say normal now i can select the leg and i can say three select this three and now you can see this is all fine so where you had intersections before that is now gone and go back just because it's a bit faster now something that i actually skipped in the brook review which i showed in the dawn review when you have your rig and you open up all the folders it gives you in there this setup here some details and some uh, explanations as to what you should look out for in the rig which is very very helpful there is a readme as well so use legacy viewports but well, i'm using 2020 so i don't have a legacy viewport and you turn off the visibility controls here facial controls all that good stuff this is all good to know um depending on the speed of your machine i don't really have a problem manipulating these with my current setup and again this is very much the same setup as brooke and selena now this character doesn't have anything special as in no rollerblades and also no mechanical hands so that's the only big difference in terms of the extra special stuff that's gone in terms of the rig setup everything is the same meaning that like i said here all those options and also all your visibility options are there if you select this little one you can move the whole character around and as with everything you have sub controls this rig is full of absolutely bananas amount of sub controls this is your main control that moves everything around which gives you again extra controllers here i don't even need to put this in the wireframe mode here but these are all extra controls to move things around which is very very helpful and all of these you can scale all those controllers are insanely scalable if i go down to the foot you got your foot control all very standard you can move these around and the knee doesn't move because you have it through here now you can move this for your foot control here for your roll and just the toes that being said this again has scale and extra control except this one you can't scale there's no extra control but when you go here you have leg stretchiness you have knee stretchiness you have ankle stretchiness then you have all your foot roll ball roll toe side twist ball twist toe twist heel twist and all your space switching and extra controls and pivot control so let me just go back and change this you select this and you say pivot control so what happens now is if i do this and i do let's say the side roll which is this one but you don't quite like where that pivot is you can take this and this pivots off of that locator so that means i can take this locator and move it maybe to here or you can actually move it higher it doesn't really matter it will take that pivot so you can put it right there where you want depending on uh, your needs depending on your needs of course of uh, your animation 
very very cool very flexible then you got that side controller back there this switches to fk fk very classic you can move everything around you can still scale and in the options here you can still stretch and you got your space switching as well now let's go back set these over here you have your foot scale if you want to this is in the channel or if you scale it manually you have the leg scale again manually or in that controller and of course you have ankle blend control you have everything is there at your disposal in terms of changing and manipulating the options speaking of manipulating you have your benbos Bah, 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 bah. You can move this around, you can move this up and down, you can of course scale, but the cool thing too is that here, bam, sub controls. So in that you have all those extra controls, which is absolutely crazy, and you can scale them of course. You select this and you get a bit closer, you have this in terms of a twist, you have a mid twist, low twist, and squash if you want to, and of course the amount and auto squash and everything, it's very very cool. Then in here, this is your pull vector, but that gives you a bam, a knee pin, which is very, very cool. And of course, all the space switching. It's very, very neat. Let's go up here. This is, of course, mirrored for each leg. Then you go here and you have, well, actually, let me not skip this here. You have this where you can move this around. And of course, you can scale this around. Then you got the pivot on the hips, which is cool in the middle. I'm not a fan of them pivoting on the side. It also does not affect the chest, which is good. Speaking of which, this is your IK chest option, which of course you can scale and rotate and you have extra controls. Where are they? There you go. Extra controls for that. Then we are on the root. The root gives you this. You see IK hands. The root of course has extra controls and going here you have the belt. Belt you can move around all around. You can take everything. There is no flappy option to open this here, but you have extra controls and this is the belt all around then you have your middle ik control with extra controls of course you have the squash option in the channel or through scale and then here you have your chest so you can translate this around you can rotate this around but you can have extra controls there you go extra controls or switch to fk and now with fk you got the classic option here and more options again for your fk it's really insane how many options you have then we're going up here and this would be your clavicle and of course extra controls on the clavicle you can translate and rotate and you can scale now if you do this and you move that arm you can see that the arm has clavicle control there built in this is your auto clavicle so you can say full or not at all and be a bit more um, precise or you know whatever you want to do with it then you have your bembos of course here you can move these around you can scale this of course it goes all the way down to the hand once you have that you have arm stretch this way you have the elbow stretch you have the wrist stretch just goes crazy town i like this here a lot you got the position of the elbow you got the arm twist just in case you don't want to use the pull vector there and then you got all your space switching and of course the extra controls that being said the elbow here gives you the elbow pin which i love and i wish every control would have that all those options here let's go back let's actually select this top one just in case you have fist for your hand make fists with your toes if you watch die hard you have curl you have relax and you have just the finger spread and the master spread of course all of this you can do individually so if you select your controls here did i select all of them i think i did you have that of course you can scale and you can translate but you also have the extra stretch control here and this is not the whole thing i mean you can but it's individually there and also extra controls for the fingers and if you go up here all those cupping and curl and everything else and stretch is all there for single finger control as well this goes all the way back here and all of these have extra controls Going back to this, you have your FK mode, just like with the legs, you get these controllers, they do what you think they should be doing, and they have scale and everything, and they have extra options like stretch in here, world space, and extra controls if you want to. It's absolutely fantastic what this rig has. Both sides, of course, this is all mirrored. Then let's go up, let's go as always here actually. So you have this for your neck, and you have translate rotate and of course scale 
but you also have that middle option here to change your neck around. You can scale it around, you can do all kinds of things. Then you can select the head here. So you have all your rotations and movements. Of course, you can scale all of this. You also have local world. So let's say I say world off and I go back to my other head control. You can see that it behaves like this. Going back to the head, of course, you have facial controls on off, but you also have hair on off and extra controls on the head. Now, since the hair is here, let's say facial off, it also takes the hair. So this is separate, but this will take the whole thing. So if you just want to select just the hair, you're going to have to have some selection sets or something. This is going to be absolutely bananas. Let me just go anyway and try this. Ah, it kind of worked. You can scale it down like this. You can scale the hair up into something Dragon Ball Z almost, right? Uh, so you have that option right there. Let's turn this back off. Then up here, you have your squash and stretch of your head, the whole head. And you can, of course, change the squash expansion there. And if you go back to this one, this is your lower part squash and stretch. This makes an old person and more kind of like a chewing option, I guess, would be kind of cool. Then let's go here. You can open the jaw. Let me just open this so you can show you all kinds of things here. So you have the corner mouth. It does like with broken all the other controls. You have really, really nice deformation and lines. Now, just in case you're not super happy with it, you can still move around here, move around here. You can scale here. This one gives you lip curl on off this is the same thing for the bottom part this is your full lower lip option which you can rotate around and scale around but you do have lip curl you have lip roll lip curl lip puff if you want lip clench and lip tightness i'm exaggerating here and breaking the rig but you have these top and bottom also speaking of top and bottom you have this if i go all the way back and we position this you can take this and just reshape it like that, which is a very cool tool. And then you have the overall mouth control where it moves around like this. And you can, of course, rotate this and scale this. And it gives you a quick option for ooh if you want to. Now, it does come with sub controls. Holy moly. So a lot of options there. Turn this off. And if you go to the big ones, the red ones here, you have a lip zip, which is very cool. You have a lip pinch and you have a lip puff and the crease you can see this in the texture there and so many more options it's absolutely insane i love this same thing here if you have your cheek control here you have a cheek puff built in just in case and all of these have extra options so i'm turning this off here cheek not cheek here sub controls bam extra controls to do all kinds of shenanigans like up here and again same thing here you have options here bam sub control for more options here absolutely insane i love it Go up here and you have your nose control so you can move this around you can also scale it of course you have your nostrils scale translate rotate all that good stuff but nose flare built in just in case you want to do this here on both sides you have the tip of the nose that you can move around but you can also scale and just like with all the other rigs you have this here where you can change the rotation of it again you can move it around but as you go up it gives you the rotation following that hierarchy so if you want to change the structure of the nose you can go ik control on you can move these around as ik controls very very cool let me just go up here and take this middle control on your eyebrows and maybe i'm going to turn his hair off so you can see this so again you can go either in the outliner and change that manually or you go in here and display type i'm going to go normal so i can select the hair hide the hair, ah, go on here and maybe turn off uh, hair control. So it looks more like this. So go back on in here and I'm gonna select that and you can see that you can go up and down, but if I go side to side, this happens as well. You can do this, of course, in the channels. You have your eyebrow in and out and the eyebrow pull. You can see this, bit of a change there. If you want, you have fine detail with this here. You have just that part here. Then you have the outer section to move this around like that. You have the middle section for this. And you can move, of course, the whole thing. Now, this comes with sub controls. So lots of options. And the ear. For the ear, go back here, select this. You can grab the whole thing. You can, of course, scale the whole thing. You can grab those side controllers here. And you can scale, rotate, do all kinds of things here. Blah, 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 blah. So you can make a really big ear or really really tiny ears if you want to 
back here you're gonna have your deformation and the squash and stretch and just all kinds of craziness on the head and this is in terms of rotations and even scale if you want to do this or you can select the lower part so you can do this for whatever reason uh, you can rotate blah 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 and speaking of scale you can of course also scale the jaw so let me select this and then you can scale that back in now since that revealed the teeth let me grab this and go a bit lower and then grab uh, actually the smile here you will see that even the teeth have controls to move this around and even scale and there's an overall upper move of that <laughs> you have this here back there and you have of course the tongue control where you can move this around but it can stretch you can squash whoa and of course you can move this all the way out if you want the whole thing and then you can scale, you can just move these guys and scale and rotate around. Lots of options. And teeth, of course, the lower teeth as well. So you have whoop, 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 this to move around, you have this to move around, of course. But fine tuning, since this rig is all about fine tuning, you have this. So you can scale the whole thing, you can move the whole thing. But if you rotate, it only moves this, which is very cool. You also have this scale, squash and stretch, if you want this. And you have extra controls on that. So if you want to really reshape the whole thing or just separately, you have all of these options to really re-sculpt your character's absolute bananas. Then you have this one where it moves just the eyeball. But in here you have iris size, pupil size, the iris squash and stretch and pupil squash and stretch. And also look at yes or no, lid follow yes or no. So if you have any type of changes, you don't want the lids to follow, you don't want anything to follow, you can turn this on and off. So lid follow will be off and I'm going to do this and you can see nothing happens. What's really cool too is that you have the eye highlight or the kicker here that you can rotate and it follows the surface of the ball. You can, let me go here, if you select this, you can move it out, you can change the size and you can have it also follow or not, meaning that if I say follow off, and then move the eyeball around, the highlight stays put depending on where your light source or your simulated light source would be. It's very cool. Then in here, you got controls to reshape this. All of these come with sub controls, of course. Same thing with the upper one here. So this does your movement here. And down here, you have your lid. Now this gives you a lid puff if you need to. You can go all the way down. And then this is, of course, the same thing here. If you want to close your eyes and you have options in terms of your sub controls for your eyes again to to reshape things and you can select this and rotate it's absolutely insane all the things you can do the only thing that's missing is you don't have a quick option for a blink so i gotta select this select that and then do this compared to for instance right when you have the hand and you have this here and you have your your quick curl i would have loved a quick blinking option just for quick blocking just in case he has allergies one last one here is that if you have this here so if you take this and i move the root forward you're going to have ik arms and legs totally normal but let's pretend just quickly you want this character to jump and you want to do a tumble or something and you don't want to follow with the ik arms and legs of course you can switch to fk but you can also select this a which is this air control and say air control on so now when i move this everything follows and am I done with this? You can go and go back here. Very, very cool. And I believe that is it. If I miss something, as always, I will put it in the pinned comment in the comment section. If you saw something that I missed, let me know. So link in the description with the other rigs, Brooke and Selena. If you want to see the other two, you can buy these as a bundle or separately. You can go onto my Animation Buffet site to look at other rigs, other rig reviews. And if you have any other rigs that you want me to feature, send me an email and I will add them to the site, of course. Other than that, feel free to browse around my site for animation lectures and reviews and goodies. And that's it from me. Thank you for watching.